They're the reason we're here. They're the reason the game we love makes America's favorite pastime. First the award uh, for the presentation will be Gene Bennett. Gene is in his 57th year with the Cincinnati Reds organization. He has been the Reds minor league in 1952 and moved to Scotty in 1958 after the shoulder injury. Many notable signings include Reds Hall of Famer Don Gullett, 1955 MVP, 12-time All-Star and four Gold Glove winner Barry Larkin, All-Star to Paul O'Neill, Jeff Russell, and 1988 Rookie of the Year and All-Star Chris Sable, along with longtime Major League uh, leaders like Charlie Liebrand, Dave Tom, Skeeter Barnes, Eddie Miller, and many others. Uh, Gene received the Top Scout of the Month Award 14 times. And he's a recipient of the Top All Star Scout Award in 1988 and 1995. He was elected to the Middle Atlantic Professional Baseball Scouts Hall of Fame in 1956. Gene Bennett, ladies and gentlemen, is in the, in the upper Midwest. Gene Bennett is the Cincinnati Reds. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Professional Baseball Scouts Foundation, it's my pleasure to present the Legends of the Scouting Award to Gene Bennett. <laughs> My daughter helped present that award. It's not true. Uh, <laughs> Mel Didier began his baseball career as a pitcher in the Detroit Tiger organization. Two years later, an arm injury shortened his playing career and led him to scout. He was named director of scouting for the Montreal Expos, and a year later was named director of, play of minor leagues. Mel has, had similar, has held similar possessions with the Seattle Mariners, similar positions to but Seattle Mariners, Arizona Diamondbacks, the talents were critical for these expansion clubs. That's three expansion clubs that he to help get off the ground. Mel also worked for the Los Angeles Dodgers as a special assignment scout for 16 years under Fred Claire and Al Campanis. In, 19, in 2003, he was back in the highly prestigious Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame and was the subject of a book about his years in the scouting he released last year called The Partner. I can tell you a story. A special assistant to general manager of the Texas Rangers Baseball Club is starting his 57th year in professional baseball. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Professional Baseball Scouts Foundation, it's my pleasure to present the Lessons in Scouting Award to Mel Goodyear. <laughs> son of the Dominican Republic. He signed with the Milwaukee Braves in 1960 and played until 1967. His scouting career started that same year when he met Pat Gillick, who was then working for the Houston Astros. Hired as a part-time scout, Epi immediately signed Caesar today in the man. He went on to work with the New York Yankees, the Toronto Blue Jays, and finally the Milwaukee Brewers. Epi also built the first baseball academy in the Dominican Republic. Has been honored to, for his work and love of baseball with two inductions into the Hall of Fame in the Dominican Republic. This man did more to uh, make the uh, Toronto Blue Jays competitive in a short period of time than probably anybody I can think of. I can count it. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Professional Baseball Scouts Foundation, it's my pleasure to present the Legends of the Scout Award to Epi Guerrero. <laughs> Chris Carpenter, Sean Green, and John Stearns. 
is the special assistant with six general managers, all of them, Dallas Green, Bill Giles, Pat Gilly, Gordon Ash, and Kevin Towers, as a three people. Moose was, uh, was also a major engineer in one of the biggest trades of our time, trade involved four all-stars, Tony Fernandez and Fred McGriff from Toronto Blue Jays, going to the San Diego Padres with Roberto Alomar and Joe Carter. Uh, that was truly a baseball trade. Moose, nobody was dumping sour. Uh, Moose retired in 2006 after an impressive 56 years of professional baseball. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is one of the great, the really good people in our game. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Professional Baseball Scouts Foundation, it is my pleasure to present the Red Legends of Scout Award to Wilbur Bruce Johnson. <laughs> Finally, last one. Lenny Yoke. Lenny Yoke came in in Pro Bowl 1947 as a left handed pitcher. Actually, left as a left handed pitcher, too. Uh, he reached the majors in August of 1951 at the age of 22 and played 10 years. In 1957, he began his scouting career as a bird dog. Not many bird dogs anymore. For Shaky King. Not many Shakies anymore. The following year, scouting for the Kansas City A's. Staying with them for the next four years. In 1966, Lenny signed a contract with Pittsburgh Pirates, who he played with for eight and a half years. Played for eight and a half years. 30, during his 37 years with the Pirates, he served as an area scout, national cross checker, and an major league scout. He has received many awards over the years, including the 1972 Diamond Club of Greater New York, New Orleans Hall of Fame. 1994 Scott of the Year, Midwest, uh, Midwest, uh, 1995 Nokia Sugar Bowl Hall of Fame, and 1996 he became only, this is something, in 1996 he became only the seventh member to receive the award as the Pride of the Pirates. It is the only award presented by the Pittsburgh organization. That's pretty impressive. Wonderful man. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Professional Baseball Scouts Foundation, it's my pleasure to present the Legends of Scout Award to Lenny O'Connor. <laughs> Thank you so much for your attention. Appreciate it. We'll be back next year with five more Legends.